Look at the food disappearing. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. I, I'm just staring at the food number two. I'm like, are we going to make it to the river, to the town? What is that? Is that a camp up there? One of the oxen has died. Yeah. Uh, and sees up. Uh, at any point, we can stop in one of these days and try to hunt or trade or something. Do you want to just keep going? Or? Well, if one of the oxen have died... Uh, I don't know if it gives you an option to harvest the oxen, but yeah. maybe it does. There's also the ability to stop and trade, but it's probably fine. I mean, we're still fairly well packed out yeah, from well, town. Yeah, let's continue on the trail. Press enter. Right. The weather's good. Yeah. Roughly through half of the food that we got when we were there now. You're now at Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? <laughs> All right. Uh, so we got here. Maybe we should talk to people. I'll always talk to people. Alonzo Delano tells you, About noon yesterday, we came in sight of Chimney Rock, looming up in the distance like the lofty tower of some town. We did not tire gazing on it. It was about 20 miles from us and stayed in sight till we reached it today. Well, that's great, but that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> to survive. Yeah. Uh, you, let's see. So we could trade. Um, we can change the rations. We can actually decide to eat less food if we want to. Yeah, less, less, less food. Let's see. So filling meals. So, oh, so filling is the, the setting, right? Okay. So we're eating large and generous meals. Uh, the meager meals are small but adequate, and then bare means that we're getting hungry every day. So maybe we downgrade to meager, because we, we only have. Down the meager. Yeah, we gotta lose some weight here and get a little. We, we've been fattening up too and much. Let me check the map again. Yeah, alright, so we've gotten just a little bit farther yeah. down to Chimney Rock, but we still got quite a ways to go. Um, attempt to trade, is there anything. No one wants to trade, so there's no way to do that. And as far as supplies go, it's really the food that's the issue right now. So we might have to stop and hunt at some point. But let's see if, continuing on the trail, if we can, uh, if this will help at all. Oh, I mean, it looks like there's another fort coming up, so we yeah, might be good Yeah, Fort Laramie. Yeah, Fort Laramie here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You pass a gravesite. Would you like to look closer? Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Yes, yes. Here lies Voland. Hey, hey, come out and play. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you are now at Fort Laramie. Would you like to look around? Yeah. Well, our food consumption's kind of leveled off. Are they being like attacked by Indians in this or something? Or well, me by myself, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I mean, you have a hundred bullets, man. You have enough for like a small <laughs> army with you. Uh, all right, so let's maybe try to buy some supplies here. I'll check food again. Uh, how much food should we spend on? Well, we got 85 miles on what, 50 pounds? Yeah, and we got... And we got 50 left. So maybe we should get another 50 to make a difference? Yeah, just that. It seems like food is a little bit... I don't remember if it's pricey. I feel like it was 25 cents initially. It's 30 cents here. So maybe we should try to keep an eye on what the deals are yeah. as we continue. Yeah. Um, and then we're, we just, we changed our food rations. Um, let's see what the people have to say. A woman traveler tells you, <clears throat> Be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink only river water. Salty as the Platte River is, it's better than the cholera. We buried my husband last week. Could you use some help with this harness if you can spare the time? Well, I mean, I guess we did. I, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do when they talk to us, so. Anyways, you, you want to continue on the trail? We'll continue, yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, look at the view now. We have these mountain views. Yeah. Inadequate grass. Broken wagon axle. Would you like to repair it? Yes. Yeah, I don't think that... I'm not sure. You are able to repair it. All right. Uh, so there doesn't seem like there's much for the oxen here. Well, we're down to... Lost two days. Uh, what is our... 
Oh, uh, we were able to. We repaired the axle without having to use one, yeah. so that's probably good. Our food's good. Yeah, we'll just keep going. We should always check the map too. Find wild fruit. We got food, so our food went back up. Yeah. Is that a storm coming in? We're almost to Independence Rock. Maybe that's what that is up on the horizon. Independence should be a fairly... John has exhaustion. <laughs> oh man, John, you've been pooped. Yeah. You went from one end of the spectrum where you were just living life, <laughs> eating all this food, and now you're tired? Well, we have to take a day or two off. Yeah, we might have to rest. <laughs> uh, so we can stop to rest, which will get you your strength back, but it's because your rations were meager, probably, that you exhausted yourself. Yeah. So how many days rest? Because we're going to be eating through food when we do that. Well, we, uh, well, we got to stop to rest. How many days? A well, day or two? at least two days. Right. We'll just rest for two days. And uh, while we're resting, we might be able to hunt some food while we're there. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so to stop or stop uh, walking, hit enter, to point the rifle, I have no idea how this works. Um, to point the rough rifle expert hunters, to fire the rifle space bar. Uh, okay, so. That's interesting. Oh yeah, all right, come on. He's not very good. Well, I got a deer at least. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have very many directions that he can. Yeah. Oh. You need one deer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, one deer is, yields quite a bit of meat. Yeah, for one person. Yeah, for real. And you have no refrigerator? Yeah, for real. You can only probably eat it a couple of days at best. From the, oh, 100 pounds. Oh, I got, you got 130 pounds, 32 pounds of meat. However, you're only able to carry 100 pounds back to the wagon. I mean, that seems pretty good, yeah. you know, because packing out an animal. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> as one tired guy trying to bring two deer yeah. by themselves yeah. back to your, your, your thing, and, uh, it's tough. And he could, uh, one thing about meat, you can dry it. Right. And stir it, so that's good. Is it possible to do that? in like uh like on the trail like that yeah, you know as long I mean? as you got sunlight mm. and air then you can do it you can slice it real thin and hang it over the string like the indians do and, and just dry it, it out yeah i guess that works i guess salting probably keeps it for longer yeah like, the salting certainly does but i guess you have to have salt for yeah. that which i don't know if the settlers did well it would be one of the things you're buying your supplies right so, it would be salt to do that. Yeah. I guess that's that's they, they hadn't quite gotten to that point in game development where you were <laughs> salting your meat yet. But let's see. And this should be it to Independence Rock at least. Well you do a lot of trading there if you got meat. Yeah. Uh let's see. You can stop the rest, attempt to trade, talk to people, look at the map, check supplies. Yeah, let's talk. Big Louie tells you, Goodbye, Platte River. Goodbye, Sand Hills and White Buffalo Skulls. <laughs> now we climb the Sweetwater Valley to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the Green River Valley. Dude, this guy sounds like he's working out some issues right now. <laughs> You're not even making big exclamations like that, and you've lost four people <laughs> one quarter of the way into yeah, I'm a the gentle trip. crier. That's right. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're a gentle very crier. Very subtle about those <laughs> serious things. <laughs>